So we're underway at the British Shooting Show and these two have been reunited. So we've got Terry and Nicole from the Airgun Academy. And incidentally, if you want to see any of their films, head over to the YouTube channel. Um, guys, I'm just really interested. There is so much going on. Terry, what have you seen so far that's interesting to you? To be honest, just what you've said, there is so much going on. And the only way to really appreciate it is to get ourselves around there and I'll point them out. I know Nicole's going to be interested in it because she's <laughs> energy on a stick. So she, it'd be great if we could all just go and have a look at it. So Nicole, anything in particular that sort of grabbed your attention so far? So a couple of things. Um, I've never had a go on a simulated um, kind of VR shoot. So we've got one on the stand today. So I'm going to be having a go at that and trying to show other people how to do that as well. I'm really interested. I'm in the market for cyber side. Um, so I have seen a couple of stands. I've got some beautiful guns um, on there as well. That I'm going to go back and see. Look, we've got three days of this ahead. It looks like it's going to be a busy one. Terry, we best get out there, haven't we? Let's go, mate. Whistle stop tour of the air arm stand, okay? And we've got some really interesting stuff close up. This is a new range in conjunction with a company called Pressihole. This is the most accessible stuff that you can get and, and put yourself in the air arms family, basically. Not everyone wants to spend a thousand quid on an air rifle, but for less than half that, you can get yourself the full cover of being an air arms owner. And some of these, a great looking little things. Look at this little minor tour. Right, this is the X200. This is replacing the S200 marks. And there's a lot, load of stuff going on with this. It's got replaceable, um, you can swap the cylinder for a buddy bottle and you get a little infill there. This is a match version, so the scouts and things will love this. This is a sporter with a, with a tactical stock. And again, here it is with the cylinder. Now, if we switch all the way around, you've got the world famous array of air arms guns all the way down to one pretty special one right down the bottom. Follow me. By now, everybody knows what the XTI 50 is all about. But what they don't know is there's, there's an aluminium stock version of it. Thanks, gents. I'm not pushing you out of the way. This has got all the adjustability you could ever need in an aluminium stocked format. With that, swings out as well as everything else goes up and down with it. What they're doing at Air Arms, as you can see by the, by the new logo and all the rest of it, if you study that logo, that A stands for accessibility. So they, they want as many people as possible to have access to what Air Arms make. It's a great new philosophy. Can't wait to see what else is coming out of this company. I'm here at the whole cartridge stand, official importers of Virac. The British Shooting Show is not only the chance to bring new stuff out, but it's also the chance to celebrate who companies are. And the greatest example of that are these rifles. This is celebrating Virac's 125 years of production. And as an early Virac adopter myself with the 77, I'm really pleased to see the grand old company still around and still kicking out brilliant guns. We're on the Highland Outdoors stand and we're, uh, we're checking out the infrared stuff. What I'd really like to get over to you is after a lifetime of hunting, I didn't think there was anything that could revolutionise what I do, but there was, and it's this, a thermal spotter. This is the latest one. This is the IL-35, the IRA, infrared IL-35. But whichever one you choose, and this is a superb model, it will turn everything around for you. You can spot stuff daylight and dark that you would never have a chance of seeing. We're on the RTI stand and I'm here with Rock and we've got the Mora. And I think Mora mostly must apply to that silencer. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that needs an adapter for have another one on the front or what? This is not designed just for legal limit, is it Rock? Yeah, so it Initially, it is designed to be FAC, of course, but we will make it UK legal. This, when this thing goes off, you told me you can barely hear it, even yeah. on FAC levels. Yeah, yeah. You can barely hear it. It is for sure hearing safe. <laughs> Without a doubt. Look at it. It's pulling in looks from all over the place. Everyone's picking it up and staring at it because this is a real attention grabber, and you've got to say. <laughs> Here we 
here we go. This is a big one. This is a British shooting show exclusive. What I think I'm looking at here, it's all yet to be confirmed, but what I'm convinced I'm looking at here is the return of the Theoban Rapid. And anybody who's been in this game for any length of time will know how big a deal that, that is. There's a company, again, all things have to be con confirmed, but there's a company out there that's going to bring this back. They're going to keep the essence of what a Rapid, what made a Rapid an iconic brand, and they're going to update various features of different sorts of bottles and stock options. But the most important thing is the Theoban Rapid is on its way back. So of course the show is inside in the NEC, but that's only a couple of hundred yards behind us. We're in a little copse just out the back and we're going on an off-road driving course which is available inside. Ben is our tutor. Ben, what are we driving? So we're in the Isuzu D-Max and it's the V-Cross Auto we're driving. Okay, any advice for me? Um, so we're going to stick it into four-wheel drive. You can constantly in two-wheel drive at the moment. You can go to four high on the move, so you can drive that up to 60 mile an hour. Uh, it will flash up on the display there and it's engaged into four-wheel drive. So when Handbrake you're off. Handbrake off and when you're ready. absolutely blown away by this. The thing I love about it, driving around, some of this has been quite tricky, but basically you aim it at where you want to go and it kind of figures it out. It's very clever. Yeah. It's, it's right, that's the end of the first day of the British Shooting Show and my feet are absolutely killing me. I've been round and around discovering new stuff some of it for filming tomorrow, but my advice is, if you possibly can, get on down here and see it for yourself. Not only can you see the stuff, you can talk to the people behind it, the people that invent it, the people that produce it, the people that sell it, those who know every inch of it. If you really want to find out what all this shooting gear is about, get yourself down here. Meanwhile, we're going to repair to um, a very classy restaurant for a couple of sweet sherries and a lettuce leaf or two, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.